Well, Matt Mooney helped Texas Tech punch its ticket to Minneapolis by scoring 17 points in an upset of top-seeded Gonzaga. The Wakanda native has taken the road less traveled to reach the Final Four. As Megan Mawicki reports, Mooney's biggest cheerleader is along for the ride. For four years, every practice and every game, Sandy Levy sat in the same spot in the Notre Dame College Prep Gym, watching his grandson Matt Mooney, now a starting guard for Texas Tech. The proud grandpa's seat this weekend at the Final Four. I got no buttons. There's no buttons. They're all popped off. <laughs> it's, I, I, wore the, I, wore, I wore the red Texas Tech shirt shopping the other day, and this little old lady came up and said, Texas Tech, that's so wonderful. And then I said, yes, and my grandson plays for him. <laughs> it was amazing. Matt showed his determination in high school, commuting two hours daily from his home in Wakanda to Niles to play for coach Tom Less. Now he's grown into a 6'3 shooter and a stabilizing force for the Red Raiders. When he first got here, he was, I would call him wiry and small, um, a hard worker, determined, a good kid but a very confident kid. Matt's been on quite a journey since he left this court. He went to the Air Force, but then transferred to South Dakota, sat out a year and eventually graduated. He still had a year of eligibility left and he wanted to fulfill his dream of playing in the NCAA tournament. So we ended up at Texas Tech. When the lights were the brightest, when the, the moments were the biggest, is when he performed his best. I was sure I would watch him play in the NCAA tournament because that was that was one of his dreams, you know. But the Final Four, come on, that's just unbelievable. Well, believe it now. Yeah, I believe it now. <laughs> in Niles, Megan Mawicki, CBS 2 News. Besides a bunch of family members, a slew of Mooney's former Notre Dame teammates are making the trip to the Twin Cities to see him take on uh, Texas Tech will take on Michigan State in Saturday's second game right here on CBS.